Schedules typically provide non-graphical information in a text-based tabular report. However, you can add images to your schedules if you wish in order to add more detail about the elements you are scheduling. For example, you can create a schedule of wall types with an image of the wall types to help everyone identify the various types. You can add an image to the family type or to a specific instance. However, when scheduling system families like walls, floors, and roofs, it makes more sense to add an image to the family type rather than an image for each individual instance. But you can do both if needed. Select the wall on the left. Looking in the Properties palette, you can see an image parameter under Identity Data. When you click Edit Type to open the Type Properties dialog, you can see the Type Image parameter under Identity Data. When you click in this field, a More button becomes available. Click this button to open the Manage Images dialog. This is the same dialog that can be opened with the Manage Images tool on the Manage ribbon. If you have an external image file that you want to use, you can click Add in order to import that image file. However, there is another quick way to capture an image of the wall type. Click Cancel to close each of the dialogs. With the wall still selected, click Temporary Hide Isolate in the View Control Bar and choose Isolate Element from the Flyout menu. This isolates the single wall so you can perform the same steps if you have an entire building model. Click in blank space to deselect the wall. Next, right-click and choose Zoom to Fit from the shortcut menu. From the View Control Bar, change the visual style to Realistic. Then orbit the view around until you have a good view of the entire wall that you would like to use in a schedule to display the wall type. Once you do, right-click the default 3D view in the Project Browser and choose Save to Project as Image. This displays the Save to Project as Image dialog where you can adjust settings to create the desired image. The first step is to name the image. As you can see, the images will be saved under the Renderings node of the Project Browser. Name the image Wall 1. If you will have several element images, you will want to give them more detailed names. Next, you can control the export range. This can be the current window or the visible portion of current window. You can also control the image size. The options are Fit To and Zoom To. With Fit To selected, you can set the number of pixels and the direction, which can be vertical or horizontal. With Zoom To selected, you can set the percent of actual size. Additionally, the Format option becomes available and you can control the raster image quality from the drop-down. Leave the image size set to Fit To. Lastly, there are options that will hide certain objects from the view or display links in blue. Leave these as is and click OK. When you do, a renderings branch appears in the project browser, and when you expand it, you can see the Wall 1 image. Next, you need to create an image for the other wall. To do this, Click Temporary Hide Isolate in the View Control Bar and choose Reset Temporary Hide Isolate. Then select the other wall, click Temporary Hide Isolate and choose Isolate Element. Now repeat the same steps as before. Deselect the wall, right-click, choose Zoom to Fit, right-click the default 3D view in the Project Browser, choose Save to Project as Image, name the image Wall 2, and then click OK. 
Now you need to specify the created images as the type image for each wall. First, click Temporary Hide Isolate in the View Control Bar and choose Reset Temporary Hide Isolate. Then zoom out and select the wall on the left. Click Edit Type to open the Type Properties dialog. In the Identity Data group, click in the Type Image field. Click the More button to open the Manage Images dialog. Now you can see the raster image, the image name, the number of times it is used in the project, or count, and the saved path of the image. In this case, there is not a path because the image is saved in the project. To use an image for the selected wall type, you simply select the image and click OK. In this case, select Wall 1 and click OK. Once you do, you will see the image name in the Type Properties dialog. Click OK to close the dialog and then select the other wall. Click Edit Type to open the Type Properties dialog. Click in the Type Image field. Click the More button to open the Manage Images dialog. Select Wall 2 and then click OK to close each dialog. Now you can create a schedule. Right-click Schedules Quantities in the Project Browser and choose New Schedule Quantities from the shortcut menu. In the New Schedule dialog, select Walls and click OK. Then add Family and Type to the Scheduled Fields list, along with Type Image. Click OK to create the schedule. Be aware that images will not appear in a schedule view. They will only appear in a sheet view after the schedule containing images has been placed on a sheet. Open the A3 Schedules sheet and drag and drop the wall schedule onto the sheet. With the schedule on the sheet, you can adjust the column widths as necessary. Also, with the schedule selected, there is an image panel on the contextual ribbon. There are two tools here, Restore Size and Resize. When you click Restore Size, the images in the schedule will be restored to their original size. When you click Resize, a Resize Image Row dialog will appear so that you can adjust the size as needed. Enter 6 inches or 150 millimeters in the metric file and click OK. When you do, a Resize Image Row Height dialog appears stating that the custom image height will be maintained unless you use the Restore Size tool to restore the images to their original size. Click Close. One final note about wall images. Stacked walls do not have an image parameter or type image parameter since they are a combination of two or more walls. So be aware of that fact when trying to create wall schedules with images.